Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on July the 12th, Tuesday, 2016. You're looking at a chart of ticker symbol SLV, the silver ETF. As you can see, this market is moving into new highs and managed to close at $19.09 after pulling back from $19.45. Market is still bullish, still locked in, even though we saw some profit taken. Uh, this market is still extremely bullish. If you've been tracking with the weekly pulse wave price triggers, you would know that we have been on this and it has been doing rather nicely. In addition to that, there's been a lot of things happening in the news and the media, and doing my best to stay on top of it. I am in the process of putting out a lot of content uh, within these next few days. If you haven't already done so, uh, I put together uh, a little piece here I just uploaded um, on the whole Dallas shooting and the whole Black Lives Matter. I think that pretty much, you know, it's a slam dunk on the subject. I don't think there's anything else to discuss after you watch the, uh, the video. I think it's very it's very nicely done and um, I think that you will find the information very informative a lot of things that are not being talked about in the mainstream media and very few people are even talking about it even on the internet in the alternative media so do yourself a favor and go ahead and check out that video if you haven't already I think you'll find it most informative. All right, picking up where we left off here, you will see that we have a nice uptrend here. We, this market is very well supported all the way down to the 1576 level down in here. And everything is starting to turn up, which is good. So we're going to continue to see this move higher. We're getting close to the initial price target. Of around 20 to 22 dollars a little bit ways to go yet but as you can see volume is increasing in this contract there's a lot of talk about what's going on in the silver market fundamentally speaking and as you know I could care less about the fundamentals I just care about the price action price is everything and as of right now price is saying this market is going much higher okay taking a look at the um, silver futures as you can see this market is still within that strong bull zone we could even see a little bit more pulling back to the 1914 level and this market will still be very powerfully bullish very well supported at the $16 handle those of you who've been watching the, uh, the, the channel for some time watching the, the silver analysis you know that we told you going back a while back I did tell you that uh, the silver would be strongly supported at $16. I told you back that when it was down here. And now here we are up here. So when this is all said and done, the new support level is going to be between $19 and $20. Probably more likely the $20 uh, support will be the next level of support. Um, I do not see us revisiting anywhere down here uh, anytime soon especially once the twenty dollar support is established in the short term we could see some possible spike lows down in here somewhere but just understand that you're strongly supported at 16 which you will not revisit again once the twenty dollar support is built you will not see this level for a very very long time once this twenty dollar support has been established in the next couple of weeks just want to put that out there okay so that's the silver futures we covered SLV let's move the gold all right looking at the GLD uh, gold got smashed today the gold futures um, was down pretty hard today $23 um, just you know just seeing a lot of operation and I believe it's a delayed reaction you got to keep in mind too that the whole Brexit Brexit uh, foolishness is really causing a lot of un economic uncertainties in the markets and with that being said for whatever reason silver is really 
starting to um, to take, pick up a lot of that slack just as anticipated like I told you before earlier that you were going to see that happening gold on the other hand is acting a little bit different uh, the volume is not as strong excuse me as the silver and this market momentum has come all the way off the good news is it's getting close to oversold so it's probably going to pull back to maybe somewhere in between these two trend lines right here so that I'll put you around the 123 122 price handle possibly in the GLD that would be a strong support though around the 125 level and it should bounce beyond the and close above the 130 once the 125 support has been established but this market is very well supported at 118 uh, so I see more upside coming because this is the beginning stages starting from here of a really strong upward bull market. All right, looking at the uh, gold futures, all right, you can see a little more selling pressure coming into play in the gold futures. And this is, this is problematic because it's going to push the GLD lower. But as you can see right now, even the futures are well supported at the 1239 handle. Uh, that's you know hundred dollars away you don't want to see that kind of price destruction but because this is a futures contract uh, it's possible to get back down to test the 13 level 13 should be a very strong support by now uh, if, if we do see that it needs to hold all right but even if it doesn't you still got strong support here at the 1274 and then again at the 1239 is very strong support and then you're final support is at the 1219 so between 1239 and 1219 is your strong support level so you're going to have to watch that to see if this um, you know what, what's going to happen in this market it could spike down to here and still remain its bullish composure so this is going to be definitely one to watch all right looking at crude oil crude oil has been something else hasn't it look how we came up it powerhoused its way off these lows, went from 26 all the way up to the 50 level, having a hard time here at 50, and now it's pulling all the way back to 44, and then it's trying to gather some legs now from the oversold condition. But how much higher it's going to go is a, is, a, is a good question, anybody's guess. It's a negative pulse wave now. This is the beginning of a negative pulse wave. I see prices heading much lower, diving well into the Kumo cloud of death, where it's just going to chop sideways and try to decide what it's going to do but it has broke it's broke trend at this point this is damaging up in here okay just so you know this is damaging um, it has a lot to overcome from this point uh, right now this market has up, upside resistance at that fifty dollar level strong resistance at fifty one thirty eight and again regardless of what you see this week if it can't close above this uh, upward resistance, then this downside momentum will pick up and it will crash deeper into this Kumo cloud. All right, looking at the dollar here, as you can see, looking a little top heavy up in here. And we broke ranks a little bit up in here. This is problematic. This is not good. You don't want to really want to see this in a market that's supposed to be bullish it looks like it's leaning a little bit not supposed to lean it's supposed to have upward trajectory you don't see that you see sideways price action for little with little floaters up here so it's a positive you know pulse wave nonetheless but it's not really impressive and again most of the stuff you know it's 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 news driven but it's overbought it's trying to lock something in but it has this overhead resistance of the Kumo cloud here to contend with. And that is strong resistance at 98. Very strong resistance at 98. And as you already already know, par is extreme resistance for this market. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens um, in the coming weeks with this dollar. All right, looking at the Dow futures contract, hitting all-time highs here, getting back to the 18,000 level and beyond, and it is on fire. It is pulse waving positive. Uh, previous video showed the market here. 
all right it was somewhere up in here in this price level right here at that 17.5 17.6 level and it's since powered up and broken out this upper resistance did not hold and now it's totally reversed course after pulse waving negative with an extended range it just broke right through so now you have a test 18,000 is going to be tested because the way the price action is acting 18,000 wants to be support but as you know it's been having a hard time with 18,000 so why is this time going to be any different every time it gets up to the 18,000 level it collapses it just has a problem with 18,000 has a problem 18,334 is where the market's trying to go on has not too far to go it could hit it easily in the overnight market but again 18,000 it has a problem it's been flirting with 18,000 it seems like forever and it has big problems when it gets to 18,000 it does not hold 18,000 very well it can waffle up and down here play around with it but it has a hard time getting above it is this time going to be different is it going to break through and make 18,000 a new support or is this uh, another failed run at 18,000 these are all very good questions that the markets going to have to contend with an answer so going forward it's still up in the air but right now the market is supported at 17,014 which is all the way down here 1200 points away all right the last thing we're gonna look at here is the Nikkei the Nikkei is telling a total different story from the other markets and this is problematic because the Nikkei right now is saying not so fast much overhead resistance up here even though it's managed to come off the lows tested the lows it's still weak it's still in a bearish position still has over overhead uh, resistance and technically speaking it's still negatively pulse waving all right and it's overbought this one is saying that we may fail again here in the in the US indices and this is going to be the one to watch for this bull market to really be a really bull market and not a fake artificial one driven by uh, algorithms and the Federal Reserve doing its shenanigans this market's going to need to be bullish too and right now it's far from it therefore the Dow I have to say is fake bulls make money bears make money and pigs get slaughtered so take what you can give nothing back and if you're getting your face ripped off in these markets or you're on the sidelines doing nothing you need to fire yourself and hire me peace